Hi, I'm Monica Bay at the University of Florida, and we are in an incredible today, uh, day today with a um, beautiful conference. It's been really exciting, and I'm sitting with Andy Wilson. Okay. And Andy, let's start by having you tell our audience a little bit about your company and what you do. Sure. Uh, so um, I'm the CEO of Logical.com, and it's uh, easy to use e-discovery software with okay. no hardware, and it doesn't require really any training or, or and vendors. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, a couple of years, right? Yeah, so actually I started in 2004 okay. as a vendor, like a service provider. And then during the recession, uh, you know, for better or for worse, we were forced to change direction of the company and turn into a software company. So okay. we spent about four years building the product and wanted to build something that was easy to use and uh, somewhat enjoyable compared to what was existing in the market. So. Okay, and in the course of your job, um, I assume you're dealing with a lot of lawyers. Yes. And one of the issues that we're addressing at the conference is to help new law students understand more about what's involved with e-discovery. And there's a lot of myths out there that you know, you're a loser if you end up doing, <laughs> doing e-discovery. I mean, I put myself through law school doing discovery before there was an E in front of it and doing a lot of contract, right, con right. contract work. So right. I, know, I know what they're talking about. Yeah. But that's not true anymore. Tell us no, how it's not no. and what you are doing to help students understand a little bit more about it. Yeah, um, a lot. I mean, we give our software away for free to get people you know, to understand what e-discovery is. And it's not this boring job. It's actually a very, pretty exciting opportunity because there's a huge supply and demand problem. Right? Yes. Uh, so the younger attorneys especially that are growing up on technology, if they're truly using that type of technology, they can use that to their advantage to learn about how to use these more modern tools. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and it's not going to be a boring job. In the past it was a boring job because it's just a really inefficient process. Yes. And so that's where you put, just throw bodies at it, right? That's kind of the thinking. Uh, more warm bodies is going to um, you know, make things go better. But technology is starting to come in where you don't need this massive set of people. And that's why people that are more technically enabled um, are going to be incredibly valuable in the next couple years. I mean, and forever, because uh, e-discovery isn't a boring thing. It's actually a better way of getting at the truth. And it looks to me, from what I'm seeing in the industry, that people who come through these courses, I know we're doing it at the University of Florida, we're also doing it at Cardoza, the community is really starting to set these up. And it, in, a, in a market right now where it's very hard for brand new lawyers to get jobs mm -hmm. and they have large debts, mm -hmm. it's almost as if if you really know these, these skill sets, you can go to the front of the line. Oh yeah. You know, um, and yeah. Be, we don't have a whole lot more time. But tell us a little bit about how your company does internships mm -hmm. with law students and how that's worked out. Yeah, um, we have an internship program every summer. It's primarily software engineers. We're a software company, but occasionally we'll have lawyers come in that are more technically focused that want to learn about. That's actually how we originally hired our, who's now our general counsel. Oh. You know, uh, he, he was a lawyer. We're like, yeah, sorry, you know, we don't, we don't look for lawyers. But he was very aggressive, wanted to learn the technology. Eventually, uh, you know, he came on and we hired him full time. Uh, so yeah, we have an intern program. It's, it's not for the faint of heart because yeah. um, we actually have people write code even if you don't know how to write code. Wow. Um, because that's the best way of learning yes. you know, how, this, how these things really work and contribute to kind of the lawyer mind of, of design is, is key. Now, if you had one piece of advice to give a brand new law student, mm -hmm. what would it be? Um, I would focus on e-discovery. I mean, so I'm blowing the face. It's just, it's just simple supply and demand. It's just yeah. basic economics. There is hardly any supply for very technically competent e-discovery attorneys. And you can come out of law school, and if you learn some of these, even some of the basic skills, uh, you can come out like a magician. <laughs> I think that's a great, that's a great way you know? to stop, because you can't beat that. <laughs> Andy Wilson, thank you so much. I'm Monica Bay, and thank you for watching.